Okay, Yaz. We good? Yeah, we're good. Great. So what's up? Can you pick up a buddy of mine? He's got some heat on him, needs some fast wheels. You got it. Heading there now. Yo, what's with your boy Rydell? My boy. Take the filter out? I busted my ass all night while he was watching the spins lose another game. Didn't you volunteer? Psst, whatever. Don't take it personal. He appreciates you, you know he does. So you on his side now? Yes, it's not about sides. Rydell just likes things done his way. Yes? Yes? Name's Rudiger. I need to get to my safe house. Now. Wow, Rudiger. No foreplay, huh? What? what is this, a date? I need a ride, or are we going to have a problem? Are we cool. I got you. I guess you're not big on small talk, are you? I'd rather you talk less and drive more. Okay, yeah. Not a problem. I don't need to fill the void with talk. <laughs> nope. Not me. I'm totally cool. Just... sitting in silence. I can still hear you. Can't you? I called you for a reason. Lose them. I am pursuing the suspects. Patrol joining the others, dispatch. 2440 shook me, damn it. Suspect pulled a disappearing act in Yams Park. Okay, I guess you didn't fully suck. Wow. Glowing endorsement. Hey, before you go, can I get a review from you? Because I think it would really, really help me out. Are you always this needy? Damn, Rudiger. I really thought we had something going here. Just get me to where I need to be. Cops seem like they really wanted to talk. It's the same everywhere. They've made their mind up about you and want to take you down. Ah, I got it. So, you're innocent. Depends on your definition of innocent. Uh, not guilty? Then no, I'm not, as you say, innocent. Okay then. You know, that wasn't bad. You've made a friend today, friend. And my friends are always welcome at my safe house. Thanks, Rudy. I feel like we made a breakthrough here. Do not call me that. Call me by my street name. Which is? Der Nail. What does that make me? Der Hammer? I'm going to regret calling you. Hey, Rydell. Yo, kid, you a yes? Nah, out on my own. What's up? Just called to say the client was really happy with their car. Nice work, team. Happy, we do. Check out our deal on Prime Ribeye, aisle 19. Where are you? The supermarket. I'm thinking about, uh, buying up the old drum out back. Get one of my brisk is going. I'll do my dad's secret marinade you like so much. You know, to celebrate. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm in! All right. Tell your ass when you speak to her, okay? Sure thing. Yo, what's up? Rydell called. He's firing up his oil drum and making his brisket with his dad's secret marinade. You in? I'm busy. Oh, come on, yes. He said the clients like their cars. So? So he's happy. He wants to celebrate. Together. Then why didn't he call me? I put in the work. Now dude thinks he can win me over with brisket? Nah, bruh. Just talk it out. You'll see that he means well. I got a call coming through. Later.
nervous. You should be. You look better in my rearview mirror. really hate traffic. Did you let me pass you? Patrol, gonna try to take down that 2440. Damn, this racer can really drive that thing. takes my money. Stevenson, you've been in office for a while now. What are your plans for Lakeshore? You know, now more than ever, we need to back the boys in blue as they protect us from those who treat Lakeshore like their own personal playground. From graffiti to street racing, these illicit activities are tearing our once great city apart like wet tissue paper. If you want a cleaner, safer Lakeshore, support my plans. Exactly what we need more cops who hate racers on the streets. Yo, check out that tuning kit. That's the look I'd be going for, no doubt. Rydell, where'd that come from? The tuning kit? I ordered it for a customer, but they never picked it up, so it's just gathering dust. It's up for grabs? Yeah, it cost. Thanks, boss. This'll make the car look dope for the race on Saturday. Hey, you know we got that big money race coming up? We better make sure our ride is looking the part. Yo, tell me when you ready to head out. I'm not spending all night here again. Yo, you both on hand here tonight? Uh, no, nah, I was just saying we going out. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you just be careful out there, all right? We got more cars coming in early, too. Will do, boss. Damn, dude only cares about his business. I hear there's some sick race routes planned tonight. Let's tear the lake up. Check this out, some chick is live streaming about the mayor. Alec just shot me a link. 
Alec? Yeah, you know, the guy from that thing. Shh, she's on. What's up, Lakeshore? Okay, so tonight's live stream will expose the corruption behind the no-nonsense for nonsense policy. <laughs> cute name, right? But there's nothing cute about what's happening to the people of this city. Look, we have inside information that will finally expose this administration and how they are the real criminals of Lakeshore. But first, do you like your mattress? Oh, shit. I think I hate my mattress. Yo, what would you say if I told you there was a way to make some cash besides racing? I'd say I like both my kidneys. Nothing serious yet, but my boy Alec could be looking for a driver. Hold on, remind me, Alec is... Friend I rolled with from before. We were in the same foster home. Damn, you see the buy-ins on some of these races? We can't get that kind of cash playing it safe. There's gotta be another way. Yo, I heard from Alec. He's legit impressive. Got a major hustle. A hustle? Gonna hit him up and see if he's got something for us. How come I never met him before? You've never met my Uncle Choppy, either. I got people you don't know, all right? All right. As I said, we came up in the system together. He looked out for me. Yeah, I know. I came through that system, too, remember? You got lucky. I bounced around so much. Alec was there for me when no one else was. When I came to Rydell's, we drifted apart. But he called me a couple of days ago out of the blue. Out of the blue, huh? No, it's not like that. He saw us race and reached out. Look, he's good people. He can help us out with getting some more money. All right, all right, fine. I trust you. You know that. We gonna kill it. Ooh, a 
new Lake Lab episode just dropped. And that is why you should never feed a possum ice cream. Somebody's gonna have to clean that up. <laughs> but anyway, for those of you who are just joining us, we're focusing on the recent revelations that Mayor Stevenson's sister holds a prominent role on the board of Waterside Construction. Yeah, the company that has been awarded the largest renovation contract in Lakeshore history. You know, I think it's safe to say we can file that under conflict of interest, right guys? On today's episode, I'll be looking at how this was allowed to go through without facing the public. Wait, why shouldn't you feed a possum ice cream? about to show you how to race. I don't like waiting. Oh, so you want to play, do you? Appreciate your cash. Right? We killed it, Yaz. Yeah, we did, right? No one races during the day on Saturday. They save it for the big event. Copy that. 
Let's meet at the garage tomorrow night. Bring your A-game. It's the only game I got. entering Rose Hill Drive. Asshole just slammed into us! All units, additional reinforcements inbound. Looks like Alec might be at the meetup. Let's make sure we impress out there. All right. Just locked in some more clients. Words getting out about this garage. Great. I'm happy for you. Happy for us? I wouldn't be here without you two. This garage isn't just a business. It's a family. That must be why we get minimum wage. There's a bunch of cars needing a tune-up. The game? Yeah, sure thing. Rydell back at the garage? I wasn't really paying attention. What do you say? Do you know how many times I've heard the we're a family speech? Trust me, the only person you should be loyal to is yourself. Yes, quiet. Hey, Rydell. Hey, just wanted to wish you both luck for the big race. You got this. Thanks, Pops. Just remember, don't just say shit. Win shit. Win shit. That's right. Well, break a Oh, I'm going with this. See you back at the garage. What was that about? Maybe he's trying to apologize. It usually starts with sorry. Well, that's just Rydell. He's old school. Yeah, old something. <laughs> All right. Yo, looks like Alex here. Do your thing. I told him to look out for us. He was very interested in our car. So let's not disappoint.
That's what I'm talking about. They didn't know what hit them. I told you, baby driver. My brains, your skills. Match made in race in heaven. And Rydell's rides. Wait till he hears about this. Pride is gonna be real. Yeah, he might even break out the grill in his dad's secret marinade. Oh, shit, hold up. Alex calling. What up, fam? Yeah, impressive, huh? Little garage run by... I told you, bro. I don't know, like a bunch. A bunch of what? What, tonight? Yeah, you know it. Thanks. Peace. All right. What was that about? Alex gig. Wait, now? I thought we were going back to the garage. Transport job. Simple pick up and drop off. He's sending over the info now. We're not passing this up. It's our time, yo. All right, fine. Let's do this. <laughs> I don't know, Yaz. This seems sketchy. What did I say about taking risks? If we impress this guy, we'll reap the benefits. But there's no second chances. Do you have any idea what ride we're picking up? Knowing my boy, something legit.
boy Alec got the hookup. Check out this ride. Damn, yes, nice. You take it. I'll drive out to the drop-off behind you. On it. We're keeping this little job between us, right? Don't mind if I do. Let's not wait around. For sure. I can't wait to see what this thing can do. Shit! Damn it, Jasmine. Is this car hot? Uh, maybe. Let's split up. I'll meet you at the drop-off. Got it. Stay safe. 2440 got away, man. Suspect just pulled a Houdini at University Central. Halt in the pursuit. Yaz, where are you? I'm at the drop-off and there's nothing here. Are, are you sure this Alec guy gave you the right address? Shit. Yaz, the garage alarm just got tripped. Are you satisfied with this message? Screw it. I gotta get back to the garage. for calling Rydell's Rides. Call back during normal business hours. Shit. Yo, it's Yaz. Leave a message and I might get back to you. Probably won't, but I might. Shit. Where is everybody? Rydell, you okay? They emptied a lot. Wait here. Shit! I knew it. I told y'all. Jasmine, who is that? I don't know that dude. Yeah, let's go! They just said your name. Rydell, she was with me all night. Who did you tell about this place? I didn't! You didn't what? You didn't go to the Heights? Laugh about how trusting the old man is? Well, who's gonna trust me now? Hold up! Took your ass in when no one else wanted you. Whoa, Rydell, you gotta chill. Yes, wait! What the hell? Did she just take the car? Kia, she took everything.
they said no one could clean up Lakeshore, she grabbed the mob. Re-elect Mayor Morgan Stevenson, the leader Lakeshore deserved. Hey, Rydell. Kind of dead again today. Some old lady did come in for an oil change. She didn't have any money, though. Just samosas. Yours is in the fridge. Uh, well... I'm gonna lock up for now. See if I can make a few extra bucks on the side. Oh, uh, I did clean out the storeroom, and dude, you were right. That is a possum. Not a rat. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. He's still in there. Oh, hey, the, the book you ordered came in. Bro, if you ever need to talk, I'm here. I'll be in early tomorrow to open up, okay? Peace. All right. Who needs a ride? Yeah, I was like, yo, bro. And yo, check this, bro. He was all like, if you know, you know, bro. And you know what I said? <laughs> bro! Hi. Um, Tess? Yo! Yo, I'm running a little late, so if you could, uh... I got you. What? Do you have a pet chinchilla or like a... A possum or something? Uh, no. Why? Really? No reason. I'm just gonna crack this window. So, what's this address? Headed to this empty lot off the underpass. You know it? That was an old meetup spot for local street racers. Ah, you race? Something like that. Anyways, cops have that spot pretty locked down now. <laughs> the scene's about to get a big shakeup from what I hear. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. If you know, you know. And I know, bro. So what's up? You're in the racing scene but don't have a car? Real G's get rides. I also like being on time. Yo, does this thing go any faster? Five stars. Great conversation. Hey, you should stick around. Might be worth your while. Yeah, maybe I will. I haven't seen this many racers in one place in a minute. What brought everyone back out? The love of racing, bruh. The need to express oneself behind the wheel. And money also. Yeah, probably money. I forgot how much I missed this. <laughs> I can see why. I'm gonna do the 
rounds, figure out what's up. Thanks for the lift, Speedy. That's my car. Yes? All right, all right, focus up. Let's go. I'm glad to see y'all showed up. How many years has it been, for real? The man cracks down a little bit and we all bitch out? I thought this was Lakeshore. I thought this was a racing scene. Flex in with your super tuners and your muscle cars. That guy. Woo. What's it gonna take, huh, to remind you why we got into this? Stacks. Nailed it. Three qualifiers, high risk. You have a run in with the cops, you take them on. You make it, and I will see you in the finals. The Lakeshore Grand. You want to win? Then you had better be the best. Seven days into the first qualifier. Earn your place. Yes. Yo, Speedy. You still want that five star rating? Then show me what you got. Five stars? I got you. We got company. I'm going after the street racers. Can we do that again? Where's the park guard? Suspect pulled the disappearing act at Douglas Park. sensing some hostility between you and Miss Monologue back there. What you saw back there? That's my car that she's driving. Weird. Looked like her car. That she was driving. She even had the front to keep the license plate. Wait till Rydell hears this. Who? Oh, he, uh, he runs the garage. This garage? Is it nearby? I'm thinking now's a good time for us to get off the street. <sighs> yeah, no kidding. On it. So, gotta ask. Was she always like that? Like what? Trying so hard? Look, that ain't the guys I know. But it's been a while. This is it. Rydell's Rides. Not bad. I think he use a little work. <laughs> so, this is where Yaz started off, huh? Get the hell out of my shop! Wasn't me! Whoa! Whoa! Kid? You triggered the alarm, sister. Hey! No touching! Sorry. This is Tess. Almost took your head off. Nice to meet you, Slugger. Rydell, I saw Jasmine. She just pulled up at this meetup. You kidding? She still had the car. And she's still with that same crew that jacked our garage, setting up some high stakes circuit called the Lakeshore Grand. <laughs> Corny. With our car. I need to beat her. I need the garage. I need your help. Slow down, kid. Now, let's say you do this, okay? And you throw down with Jasmine, and you beat her in a street race. So what? So what? That's what this garage was all about. And now look at this place. We're fine. This yours? Didn't I say no touching? Mr. Rides of Rydell's Rides. Love that name, by the way. Full disclosure. I went to that meetup tonight looking for a racer. Then the cops showed up and I was like, the cops? <laughs> oh yeah. And the kid was crazy fast outrunning them. Now, I'm thinking, 
Learn from the best. Listen, I got what you need, cash. And you two got what I want, a reason to win. How about I make an investment in this garage, rep you in the race, maybe open some doors. Come on, Rydell. I can win. We can bring this place back. I'm in. Woohoo! Just promise me, no matter what Jasmine does, you do it the right way. Deal? Deal. So, Rydell, got any rides out back? Welcome to Rydell's Rides. <laughs> <laughs> I have some customers looking for a delivery that could help us earn some cash before the next race. Nice! Judging by this place, you used to race yourself. Oh, I sure did. Man, do I have some stories about the old days. Oh, <laughs> I bet. I have you know I used to run these streets. Oh, so you ran? On foot, I see. That's what street racing was like before the car was invented, huh? <laughs> Why don't you worry about getting this team funded?